Good morning and welcome to the DISCUS training um, segment on Pebble Go and Pebble Go Next. I'm Robin Prince and this is my partner Joanna Boone. We are your capstone representatives for South Carolina and we are thrilled to be partnering with the State Library to bring um, Pebble Go and Pebble Go Next to you through DISCUS. Um, this wonderful uh, event has been many years uh, in the making, and we are delighted to um, arrive at this point to be able to share uh, Pebble Go and Pebble Go Next with you through Discus. So without further delay, I wanna get started and just dive right into Pebble Go and Pebble Go Next and show you those resources. We have animals, animales, and biographies in Pebble Go Next. So let me launch my browser and share my screen and we'll show you all the wonderful resources that are available to you um, through Discus. So here is our Discus Kids page, and here are all the resources that are provided to you by the State Library. If you scroll down, you will find Pebble Go and Pebble Go Next, and you can click either Pebble Go or Pebble Go Next and be able to reach both resources from different tabs. So I'm just gonna launch the Pebble Go tab. And you see when this launches, you see Pebble Go and you see Pebble Go Next, okay? When you first open yours up, you're gonna see um, over here, I, I toggled to my pop-down menu where it says Capstone. And we have hover sounds and you'll see how that works. And I'll also show you how you can turn that off in a minute. But from here, you can search Pebble Go by entering a keyword in the search bar, or you can simply do a visual search by opening animal, animal classification, animal behavior, amphibians, animal habitats. So you see those hover sounds um, read the labels for the different categories for you. And you can turn that off simply by going up here to the capstone drop down menu and click hover sounds off. Just know if you exit out of Pebble Go or Pebble Go Next and you come back to it, the hover sound will be turned on again. So you do have to turn them on and off each time you go in. So let's just dive in and open up a resource here. I can type in a search term here, or again, I'm gonna just do my visual search and I'm going to click on birds and I'm gonna open up the penguin tab and we see lots of wonderful penguins here. And today we're gonna to explore our rock copper penguins. When I open up this article, um, I see that I have lots of different um, bits of information um, about rock copper penguin habitat, food, life cycle, fun facts. And I can simply click those tabs to go to those different segments in the article to read about it. But the beautiful thing about Pebble Go for our um, K3 learners is that Pebble Go will read this aloud and highlight the text for your students. And it's a very uh, natural sound, uh, natural voice um, that uh, will show a great pronunciation and fluency for your learners. So if I click my icon here. Rockhopper penguins are some of the smallest penguins. They are about 22 inches, 56 centimeters tall. They weigh four to seven pounds, two to three kilograms. Now I'm gonna stop there. I think you get the idea of how this article works. Um, and you can uh, do this for each page of the article. And when you see a red bolded word, that is um, a, a word that you will find in the glossary. And if I click islands and I click this icon, it will pronounce the word and read the definition in Pebble Go. Well, my computer's not wanting to cooperate, so let's try Antarctica. Antarctica, the land around the southernmost part of the Earth. So what a wonderful feature to help um, students learn vocabulary um, and enhance their learning and comprehension of this article. So we can continue through all of the segments of the article, including read more, which will link you to other articles that are related to this particular article about the rock copper penguin. Now, we have lots of resources available here at the bottom of your screen. For one, you can get the citation notes if you're teaching students how to cite your sources 
for research. So here's the citation for the article. Just gonna close that. If I click the article link, I can actually get the whole article in a PDF form. It can download this and print it, which is great if you need to provide this for students who don't have access to Pebble Go at home, or you anticipate that the internet's going to be out one day. If I close that, I can also click the page PDF, which just gives me the page that I have opened in Pebble Go. Again, I can download and print that off. Um, I have an activity here. If you're trying to do some type of assessment to see whether or not students are participating and what they're learning from what they read on Pebble Go, I can print off my activity. This one provides a picture for labeling. And all of you creative teachers know lots of ways that you can change this up. You could perhaps have students draw their own penguin and provide them the headings and ask them to label the parts. So there's lots of workarounds and creative ways to use this. And there's also a page here to share what you know. So a great way to assess how students are um, learning from Pebble Go. Here we have a video also of the rock copper penguin. And this video does have sound and it's really cool. So you get to see um, the penguin in their habitat and hear some sounds that relate to the, uh, the sounds they make. Here's also listen. It gives you access to hear another sound for the rock copper penguin. And then if you click the range tab, you can see um, this is where the rock copper penguins are found. And it's here in South America. The great thing about this is as you are um, implementing your new South Carolina social studies standards, we know that geography is a huge emphasis in the new standards. What a great way to tie in geography with your Pebble Go lessons, learning about where these animals actually live. So if I close that, I go back here to my screen and I can go back home simply by following my cookie crumbs here at the top of my page. So if I click home and I come here to animals, um, again, there's so many animals that you can explore here in Pebble Go. But I want to now show you our Pebble Go Next database, which is for grades three and up. And Discus uh, through the State Library is providing the biography database with you. And here are the different categories. If you want those hover sounds turned back on, you simply turn that back on. Um, and I don't think the hover sounds are working uh, in the Pebble Go Next. That's more support for our younger learners. So if we open up an article, I'm going to open up uh, the article about Anne Frank. You see that we have a different look here that's more appropriate for more um, uh, for your upper grade learners and readers. And we have the different tabs for the different segments of the article. So here you can uh, navigate it by the tabs or scroll through the entire article. Um, you also see that we still have the audio support. Anne Frank was a Jewish student who lived during World War II. Her family. Um, you see that it's the, the, the voice is going a little bit faster. And one of the great features here in Pebble Go Next is I can choose any word here and click on it and it will give me information about that word. So I chose Netherlands and I can click this button and it will pronounce the word. Netherlands, Netherlands. Obviously I speak like those from South Carolina. It's Netherlands and not Netherlands. Um, and then we have a ge geographical name. Suriname. And all of this information is provided through um, Merriam-Webster, the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. If I close the screen, again, I have lots of information, uh, links here at the bottom that I can access. My citation, here I have APA, MLA, and CMS. Um, I have an activity. 
a critical thinking activity that I can download and print off for assessment. I can view a timeline of my um, person, and Frank, and I have a video. Some of our videos have sound and some do not. And I also have a dictionary link. Again, it takes me to a, a different page. So when I look here at the top in PebbleGo and PebbleGo Next, I also have a copy link feature. This is a huge hit with our educators because I can copy the link of this one article in PebbleGo and I can share it with my students in any digital platform, any technology platform. I can do it by email. I can do it by text. I can do it in Google Classrooms. And your students can then click that link and not have to log in through Discus or through your school websites to open up this one particular article. So what a great way to share things with your students. What if your students are at home sick or you're back on virtual learning and you wanna share these things with your students um, from within your classroom, or if you're working from home, it's a great way to share. So this link again is available through Pebble Go and Pebble Go Next. If I open an, my article, any article, I can copy that link and paste it into whatever platform I'm using, Word document, text, email, whatever, Google Classrooms. Okay, if I go back home again, something very important that I wanna share with you is if I scroll to the bottom of my screen, I have a link to educator resources. And when I click on this link, this will take me to a page that has lots of links here at the bottom. But what I wanna show you the most is this resource tab here at the top. And the first thing I'm gonna do is come down here to lesson plans and activities, because I know you're anxious to learn new ways to implement PebbleGo in your classrooms and PebbleGo Next. So when I scroll down, I have a highlighted feature here of a lesson plan about superheroes and special powers. And this will change frequently throughout the year. I have PebbleGo, PebbleGo Spanish, so our animales. I can click here and get links. I can click here on biographies and get a lesson plan link, or I can click animals in PebbleGo to get links to lesson plans. Now I'm just gonna click here and you can see a variety of links here. All of these are wonderful. Here's one on what's my habitat. And you can see the great instructional supports that are here for you in this lesson plan. And there's always ways that you can modify this to meet your needs. Uh, let's go on down because, yep, here is an activity. Um, perhaps you wanna take an animal or several animals and do a jigsaw research. What a great way to um, have interactive learning within your classrooms. Let me close that. If I go back, I wanna click this general tab. When I click the general tab, there are lots of great resources here. One is um, a curiosity card. These curiosity cards are for all modules on Pebble Go, but if you just wanna use the one that you have access to, to through the state library, you can click this one and print these um, a few pages here. And these are cards for uh, research in the animals database. And these are lots of fun and very popular with classrooms. Um, we also have, um, we actually have a link to some bookmarks and I'm not finding that right now, but let's go back to our resources at the top. And we have video tutorial links here for you. Um, there's how-to instruction. 
and the blog. The blog is so popular and full of resources. And the first thing I want to call your attention to as I scroll down the screen is to receive free Pebble Go tips and tricks. If you will put your email address here and click sign up, you will receive newsletters um, in your email um, box and you can follow uh, along and see all the great updates that we continue to provide through PebbleGo and PebbleGo Next. If I scroll down the screen, I see lots of um, supports here from people who have shared how they are implementing PebbleGo or PebbleGo Next in their classrooms. Um, as I scroll down the screen, I just want you to see that I'm already, uh, we already have nine pages plus and on page five right now, there's one link I want to bring your attention to in particular. And you might wanna write this one down. It's the 16 creative ways to use Pebble Go in the classroom. If I open that article, I've got some wonderful practical ways of how I can implement Pebble Go into my classroom. And we hope that you will participate in our blog and share your ideas with us as well. So we can um, add those to our, our database here, our resources blog link, and share those with educators around um, the country as well. So if I go back here, let's see, let me go back to my Pebble Go. Sorry, I'm not getting where I need to be but I will. Here's my database. Um, one thing I failed to share with you, if I open Animal. up my, at my animals, and there you see, I need to turn my hover sounds off. There's one more feature I wanna share with you, and that's the games link at the bottom here when I open up the animals database. I have games that we can play. If I wanna do a jigsaw, a fun interactive way for students to um, put together a puzzle on that animal. So you'll want to take some time and explore all these games. And there's also a question of the day. And this has changed. Um, it's supposed to change every day, but during the summer, oftentimes there's a lag in that. But here's um, a poll. Are you afraid of spiders? Yes or no? And I am. So I'm going to cast my vote and it will show you the results, excuse me, the results of all who have participated in the poll or the question of the day for that day. So it's a great way to have a discussion in your classroom. It's a great way to have interaction uh, with your students with Pebble Go. So that is a very brief and fast view of Pebble Go and Pebble Go Next. Um, and I know you're going to have lots of questions. Um, and Joanna is going to share with you how we can, um, you can connect with us so we can help you with any questions that you have. Joanna? Yes. Um, Robin, um, can we go to the landing page? Um, yes. Give me just a you. second. Sorry. I was going to put something in the chat, and, but I'll do that. Uh, let me share our screen. Take it away, Joanna. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Um, as Robin said earlier, we're thr thrilled to be here with you. Um, and actually, we look forward to meeting uh, you in person over the next year. Um, what I want to go over here uh, as we close out our session are um, to address some questions we expect that many of you might have. Um, and that would be, how do I connect to Pebble Go? For those schools that have subscriptions already with Pebble Go, you will be able to access Pebble Go, both the State Library, um, provided modules and the modules in your subscription, you will be able to access them directly through your school sign on just in one click, just like you did before. For those schools who have not had a Pebble Go subscription, 
<clears throat> you, you will be able to access uh, anim animals, animales, and um, biographies in two different ways. First of all, you can go into Discus and click on <clears throat> Pebble Go or Pebble Go Next. The other way is if you would um, press this red button here and fill out this form, you can uh, just quickly fill out the form and this will come to us and we can send uh, set up a uh, Pebble Go sign on credential for your school. And that way you can go directly through Pebble Go and get these modules as well. And we suggest that you consider that because you will be able to do a lot of your usage reports and some of the administrative aspects for your specific school that way. Um, we would also like uh, everybody to know that at the bottom of this landing page, um, you have your Pebble Go partners. Um, myself, Joanna Boone and Robin, who just gave us that wonderful review of Pebble Go, and our colleague, Jeremy Anderson. Um, Robin and I uh, are available by phone, by text, and by email. Jeremy, by email and phone. And we commit to getting back to everybody within 24 hours of, of your, your call, email, or text. Um, we are here to answer any of your questions. Um, we are here to uh, provide you with options um, for your schools um, that are connected to this wonderful partnership that we have entered with the uh, South Carolina State Library, which uh, we have, as Robin mentioned early uh, in the beginning, we are thrilled to be partner with them and, and we've been working a number of years to, to make this happen so that uh, everyone in the state of South Carolina has access to these wonderful, this wonderful tool and the modules. Um, so we look forward to meeting you over the course of this year, uh, whether it's in person, uh, by Zoom or by phone. Uh, please let us know um, what you need and we love feedback. So please uh, let us know as well. And we hope you have a good rest of the day uh, in your training and um, uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you, Joanna. I did paste the link to that landing page um, uh, so they can get in touch with us and fill out that form for their own credentials, uh, login credentials, if they're not already an existing Pebble Go or Pebble Go Next customer. So if you look in the chat, there's the link. Linda will also have this link and she'll be happy to share it with you, but please feel free to reach out to Joanna or myself for any of your needs. Um, if you ask Linda something and she doesn't know, she's gonna refer you to us anyway. Um, and we're happy to field those questions for Linda. So reach out to us at any time. Enjoy your day. Good luck as school starts back and we hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you, bye.